us worry for a minute there, Coach. <laughs> right the way you planned it, right? Yeah, exactly. There you go. Take a penalty and score shorthand. Right <laughs> All right, you guys ready? Just wrote it up. Okay, Coach, do you want to make a statement? or No. Nope. Just a, certainly a exciting ending to the game. Just your overall thoughts on the team's performance tonight. I thought the team's performance was fine. Uh, it, it was time for us to play somebody else. I mean, and I've, I've, that's been well documented. I think every college coach would agree with me that the month of September is, is necessary. It's our training camp. It's, it's difficult. I mean, these kids are watching the NHL. Those NHL teams are playing nine regular or preseason games or something. I mean, we get one. So uh, the, it, it served its purpose. I mean, the fact that we got put in an adverse situation and had to find a way through some adversity, well, that's going to be non-conference. That's going to be the regular season, whether it be non-conference or in-conference. So we might as well uh, uh, test ourselves in, in, in a tough in a tough spot. And I think we did that. I, I thought our penalty kill, for the most part, did a nice job. And again, like I've been talking about special teams for six years now, or five years, and they're 0 for 6, and we're 1 for 5, and a shorty. We win the special teams game. We, we, we win the game. It did seem like, speaking of the penalty kill that they left off, right where they uh, were last year, just um, what were you liking about the way that they Well, were? It, it looked like there was some pressure there and some aggressiveness, and obviously we're going to have to make sure that there's a means to some of that madness at times, and, and it looks like we have a plan, but um, I thought for the most part we did a nice job of, of making them dump the puck and us having to go get it, which is the way we want to forecheck in the PK, there's there's a result we want to get, and that's a dump puck, and we, we call that a 50-50 puck, and then what we do with those pucks um, is, is, is ultimately now it's on us. Um, I don't think we were great with clearing it. Like, there's a couple in the second period that come to mind that we won the faceoff clean, couldn't get down the ice, or had the puck on the stick, couldn't get down the ice, then we hit, and then Tyler took a penalty and ended up going five on three. That puck should have been cleared. So there's always things to clean up, uh, but I... And then the other side of the special teams, I thought our power play moved the puck around great. Um, especially that unit with, with, with Friedman and Hawker, they, they look like uh, they've been playing together for a while, uh, that group. So um, all in all, again, when, when you can only do so much playing against each other. So to, 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 to play against somebody else who's going to push back like Toronto did, um, I think it was, it was good. It was a good night. You trust a lot of freshmen tonight. How do you think they did in their first instant play? I think they did fine. I think they did fine. I mean, you know, you're going to see those three guys on the back end more nights than not, you know, and, and um, hopefully they felt confident with the way they played because I, I thought for the most part it was good and, and there's still things to clean up. And then the guys up front, unfortunately, Stephen Bayless is not going to have a chance to play uh, until Lake Superior, but I thought he did a nice job. And, um, you know, Johnny Shelley had a goal. Shane Bender played a good game. Joe McCune didn't get Oh, as much ice time as those other guys, but I thought with the ice time he got, he played pretty good. So, um, again, I, I, I feel like those young guys, it was time for them to get into a situation like this, but we all, we've talked about this, we know who's going to lead the way here. And you, you look at that play shorthanded, I, I think Merce and Matt and Kevin Dufour have probably been our most consistent line through training camp, and they had a tough night. I think they were minus a couple, and five on five, and, um, and then they make a play shorthanded. So, that's what you expect from your older people. But speaking specifically of Cole Camp, that play he makes there at the end, now that he's heading into his junior year, you, is he going to be a guy like that you guys are going to look to expect to step up and make big plays like yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, year? you know, Matt had 25 points as a sophomore. He, he's kind of one of those understated guys. Unfortunately, he doesn't get the uh, the talk that he should get. The type of ice time he eats and, 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 the, and, the, and the minutes, like the hard minutes he's playing, um, Matt deserves more credit than he gets. But uh, he, he's a guy like... The one thing that does come to mind for me, he just, he missed the net a few times tonight. And, and that's something he's going to have to tighten up. We've been talking to him for three years about hitting the net. He shoots the puck as good as anybody, and, and you got to hit the net. And then he comes down late in the game, hits the net, and, and, and look what happens, it goes in. So he is a guy we're going to lean on, Ryan. I mean, you, you lose guys like DeSalvo and Burkle up front, and that's ice time and, and all that kind of stuff, and leadership. And, and Matt's one of those guys that uh, we hope to, to pick up some of that slack that's left over. Talk about what you learned about your goaltender, Coach. I Um, I thought it was fine. I mean, you know, you're you're always you're always wanting more. You're always. I mean, I didn't like the, their third goal. That was a bad rebound, and then ultimately a bad goal. And um, you know, you, you throw a kid like Chris Nell back in the mix starting Monday, and um, I I think our goaltender is going to be fine because 
like we've talked about the last couple of weeks publicly, we're looking for number one. And, and we want to raise the level of where our number one left off last year. Tommy was that, but we want to make the level of our number one higher. And we think all three of them are capable. So starting Monday, again, we, we continue to evaluate and see who gets to start next Friday. But we, we expect our goaltending to be great. And I think it was good tonight. I don't think it was better than that. Yeah, I think it was okay. Um, you know, I, I didn't love at time the, the, the goals they scored. I just thought were a little bit easy, um, but it was almost. And I'm not blaming the defenseman on that. I'm, I'm just saying defensively. Well, you know, I, I'd like to see us be tighter. Um, but I thought for the most part, you know, some good plays by Dejan come to mind. I thought Freed's looked like he was skating pretty good. Obviously, Sean's a guy that you're going to see a bunch of. Uh, I thought Jose, Jose did a decent job when, when he got opportunities out there and he played. Um, so, uh, you know, we talked about the young guys. There's some older guys, those other four, and, and uh, we're going to have to do it by committee back there. And, and I, I, I like the group. Uh, you know, again, we're going to push each other. Braden Paris didn't play tonight, but he's right there. I mean, the, the conversation is eight guys deep. Um, when we go back to work, we'll watch the film, see, see where we're at, and we'll be able to hopefully clean up some things and, and, and continue to push. But I thought overall the defense would play well. Murphy, we're expecting him back yeah, we are. Uh, it's day to day. I mean, it's. I think Ben could have played had it been, you know, the last game of the year. And uh, but there's just not reason for him to play. And that's no disrespect to Toronto at all. It's just the time of year and and the type of injury. We don't want this to be a nagging thing all year long. He's had a great camp. He he came in in great shape. Um, he wanted to play. It just. We just didn't think that it would, the, the, the risk was worth the reward this early in the year. Chris Nell, what was Chris Nell, uh, it was a, it was a disciplinary thing that happened in the spring uh, that uh, he knew back in the spring that, that, that uh, tonight's game he wouldn't play, and, and he goes right back again. Not no no lingering effect. Monday he goes right back in the conversation. You good, good. All right. Thank you very much. But you're going to call Tuesdays, okay, Tuesdays? coach? Yep. yep. Okay. Thank you much. All right. We're going to go down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's the European that goes here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to set something up for a <laughs> Questions for Brandon Hawkins. Just uh, seems like you started off tonight right where you left off last season. Just how was it for you to get back, back out on the ice and playing against someone other than your own teammates? Oh, it was awesome. Instead of beating the crap out of each other, we finally got to beat up on another team. It was, uh, it was nice. We had some uh, good line chemistry between myself, Bayless, and Cooper. And truly, both my goals don't happen there without Cooper or Polkamp. Just a uh, on that first goal, just kind of walk us, walk us through what you were seeing on that play. Uh, you know what? I came, I got a change off the bench. A, uh, their D rimmed it up the boards. Coop went to shoot it. He kind of whiffed on it and tapped it to the middle, and they let me walk down Broad Street. And playing with a guy like Bayless, obviously, he's a pretty good player coming up through juniors. Just what was it like to get to play with him in his first game? You know what? He's a, he's a good player. He's a real good player. He's adapted to the college game pretty well. It's going to... It's gonna be nice to see when we when he can actually play. I, I know he's got some NCAA feel that he can't play for the first six games, but uh, he's a good player, and I I was pumped to play with him today. When you get to play with guys like him and Coop, both bigger body guys getting down low, how does that help your game in terms of what they bring out on the ice, especially down the offensive zone down low? You know what? They they open up a ton of space, and I've worked my whole career on trying to get my shot off as quick as possible, and they're just giving me more time to do that. They're just uh. You guys got a, got the uh, the one power play goal tonight. It seemed you guys were moving the puck well up top by the point and out wide. Uh, what do you think of the performance on the power play tonight? You know we were meshing well. We just uh, had a couple bounces didn't go our way. I think those couple bounces do go our way, and we uh, we come out 30, 40 percent on the PP. It's coming into your second year. How does this compare to last year? This time you're starting your first game. You know what? I feel a lot more calm out there on the ice. It's uh, it's kind of like I'm, I feel at home. 
So it was, uh, it was nice to get back and play with the boys. That's good. Yeah. Right. Thanks, guys. exciting play there in the last minute of the game just to walk us through what you were seeing there leading up to the puck bouncing out of the zone and then the mad dash towards their goal. Yeah, I know uh, Pierre Luke was uh, just trying to give me a pass. Maybe I could do like a little one-on-one -on -one with the guy. But I ended up uh, hitting my skate and it was a 50-50 race. And I ended up uh, lifting up a stick and shooting in the net. So you guys played well on the PK throughout the entire night. It seemed like you guys were aggressive on the puck carriers. How do you how would you assess the performance of the PK tonight? Yeah, that's uh, that's our goal actually every every night is to uh, be really aggressive on the PK, not to give them any space, time with the puck. That way they uh, turn the puck over and we can shoot down the ice. What's it like for us or playing all these new freshmen coming in? I I really like it. They're actually a really great group of guys. Really nice. Um, they have a lot of energy, especially because they're new guys. They're all excited. That gets us excited. That gets you know everybody excited to play hockey again. This is your third year. Do you kind of feel like you're stepping into a leadership position with this team? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not really a real big vocal guy, but out on the ice, you know, wherever it matters, I try to be, I try to do the right things out there, try to be hard on the pucks, make the right plays, just uh, leave, for example, for the younger guys. Special teams, the strength of the program again last year, and it looks like you're up to this start again this year. What is it about special teams? you guys work extra on that? or? Uh, I think we take a lot of pride in our special teams. That's... Special, special teams is a big part of any hockey game, and if we can be really good at that, it gives us a chance to win a lot of hockey games. Good, man. Good. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.